Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Anna Croft in Carrick Macross. My name is Joanne Lavelle and I'm here to do a virtual viewing with you of this rather smart four bedroom detached bungalow. So what's important about it? It measures 130 square meters. That includes an integrated garage and where a garage is integrated, it provides particularly um, a strong opportunity to create extra living accommodation within the home. Um, it rests on a nice site with a um, good front garden and a lovely secure private back garden. It has a DBE or rating and it's on the market now at €270,000. The property is in great condition uh, and is certainly ready for the next owner to make it their own. It's going to appeal to a broad range of buyers, whether you're a first time buyer buying your first home, whether you're upsizing in maybe from a two or a three bed to a four bed as this is, or perhaps you're downsizing and you want a property where stairs isn't a concern or a consideration for you. Either way, there's plenty to find out about in this property at Nana Croft. So with all that talking done, let's take a look inside. In through the front door we go and into a very sweet and very smart entrance hallway. Love the nice curved uh, archway here. It really softens up the house and you'll see it's a bit of a motif around the house. So that's the entrance hallway with cream and brown checkered tiled floor. <clears throat> into the right and also take note and um, these glazed panels in the doors which really gets light through the house. So we're into the living room now and you can see first as I always like to point out proportions. Great proportions here because you can see that there's a lovely big um, modular corner sofa and plenty space for it. Um, lovely big window there really almost a portrait window really or gallery window as some people call it giving out on to the front garden. Very private at the front as well so you know nice sense of space there. It's an open fuel open solid fuel fire there, cast iron horseshoe inset and a lovely very contemporary I believe oak mantelpiece. So that's lovely. Also um, fairly low maintenance house as you can see there it's like a kind of a laminate clip floor underneath which is um, gives a nice warm tone um, and comfort to the property. So we'll carry on now through to the kitchen diner. Again part, part tiled part uh, laminate floor. The kitchen is uh, to the back of the house and it has really space for freestanding appliances and the thing about the kitchen is if the natural wood look isn't to your liking this I think would be very easily sprayed or painted a different colour. It looks to me like a solid wood kitchen so um, very versatile in terms of the next owner wanting to put their own little slant or their own scheme and style to it. But you can see there plenty storage space and also plenty worktop space. Now when I turn around here you'll see the dining area. Plenty space for a good big dining table. Some people would these days prefer to have an island and a sofa area which you can equally do because there really is a lovely amount of space here. I want to show you this. This is a Stanley Super 80 and the Stanley Super 80 is effectively the boiler house here. So basically it's oil fired central heating and it's running off the Stanley Super 80, the range. So um, that's the situation there. And then adjacent to it is the hot press with um, hot water tank. So if you look at this space from here, you'll see it's a nice big room. Again, that lovely arch, which I mentioned before and um, nice sort of circulation between the two rooms. You could definitely put an even bigger dining table on there if you wanted to. We'll look at the back garden at the end, so stay tuned if you are of a strong gardening disposition. And we'll carry on through the, the, the sleeping accommodation, as it were. We'll stop off briefly here and we have the bathroom with bath and separate shower. Electric shower in there, fully tiled. So it's a good, well-appointed space. In now across behind into the front of the house, bedroom number one, really sweet bedroom. You're going to see a lot of built-in storage actually in this house. This room has a full wall of built-in storage with a vanity unit, um, a nice deep, probably about two feet deep. This is the first bedroom. It's presented as a single, but uh, probably sufficient space for a double as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is space for a double. And as you can see there, good size, good condition great room. That's to the front of the house. Then we carry on. Room number two across the way. This is a lovely room. Um, again, presented immaculately. 
and you can see there space for your freestanding wardrobe there or if you wanted to space to build in that room sitting onto the back of the house then number three so this will be similar size to the first bedroom again it's got built-in storage and you can see there as i suspected space for your double bed there's your built-in storage so again very adaptable you can either keep it and paint it uh, although it's lovely sort of a blush pink at the moment or you can take it out and give yourself more floor space and then finally fourth bedroom a lovely spot lovely sized double there with again more built-in storage that is i think three out of four of these bedrooms have built-in storage which is quite unusual and I'm going to tell you it's a major bonus because it means that you don't have to worry about that. This room giving out onto the back garden which I'm going to go and show you now. But before I do I want to show you something important and I'm only going to give you a little glimpse of this. It is the integrated garage. Now you can see it's got stuff in it obviously. That's just part and parcel of having a garage. But that garage space is really important and the reason it's really important, Joanne, why is an integrated garage so important? Is because it's so easy to adapt it and to integrate it into the accommodation of the house. So whether you wanted to turn that garage space into, for example, another bedroom, or if you wanted to make it into more like a den, work from home, second reception room, it's incredibly adaptable. So I'm coming out now to the back garden. And similarly, even more so, I mean, the front garden is a lovely private space, but the back garden equally lovely and private. So I'm going to give you a little look around. Let's see. There we go. Lovely long space. To be honest with you, it's pleasantly low maintenance, which is going to be music to the ears of many of you. Um, but you can get as creative in the garden as you want to because it's very much a blank canvas, carte blanche, off you go. It is a lovely garden space and have a listen. Can you hear that? There's a lovely wooded space behind the house there. And that's providing a couple of important things. I'll tell you what they are now. So first off, it's providing lovely shelter and lovely privacy to the property. Um, but secondly, it's full of birds. And behind me, there's a whole chorus going on, which is absolutely lovely. And I lovely. I love to find a garden that's full of birds. Singing, it's a real prize and a real treat. The back garden is fully secure. So from the perspective of if you have for children or pets or whatever, back garden is secure, but it's also incredibly private. That is to say, nobody can see me where I'm standing now and I can't see anybody else. So that's again, another real prize for a garden. The property is now on the market for sale. It is, as I said earlier on, very convenient to Carrick, but it is also belonging to Kalani Parish, Kalani Group Scheme. And so it's, you enjoy the best of both worlds. You can have village life in Kalani, you can have hustle and bustle of town in Carrick. So thank you so much, as always, for joining me <coughs> on this virtual viewing. I hope that you have found it to be of use. And now the big decision, will I go and view this property? Well, the full details are here. And we're always happy to accommodate a viewing. So please do let us know your questions, your queries and your availability. And we'll see you here in this beautiful garden very soon. Take care, folks. Bye bye.